Hello, my name is Dune Lankard. I'm an EAC native, fisherman, conservationist, and founder of the EAC Preservation Council. EPC is based in Cordova, Alaska. We are surrounded by the stunning bounty of old growth rainforests and world-class wild ecosystems of Prince William Sound and the Copper River Delta. Our region comprises one of the largest remaining wild salmon runs on Earth. The Yak people's way of life has centered on the sustainable harvesting of wild salmon for over 3,500 years. It is the protection of this most precious resource that is our primary mission, not just for our people, but for the region, for all of Alaska and the world. With your help, our region's gift of wild salmon will keep giving for generations to come. EPC was formed in response to a tragedy, the Exxon Valley's oil spill in Prince William Sound in 1989. After the oil spill, native corporations started to clear cut one million acres of old growth forests in the spill zone. We knew at that moment we had to take a stand and create a new economy, conservation-based solution. Organizing with statewide and national environmental groups, stakeholders, communities, natives, and fishermen, we demanded that a restoration fund be established, and we won. Exxon paid $900 million in the out-of-court settlement, and we have helped to permanently protect over 700,000 acres of old-growth salmon habitat along the parallel path of the Exxon Valley's oil spill, therefore protecting our wild salmon way of life. Currently, our number one priority initiative in protecting wild salmon habitat is the acquisition of two critical parcels of land, the last remaining private inholdings in the Bering River region. Through decades of careful, hard work by EPC and others, we have permanently protected 85% of the Bering River coal field from unsustainable development. This final 15%, however, is pivotal due to its location as a gateway to this watershed. It will lead to the retirement of a 55-mile road across the delta, therefore permanently protecting all 3 million acres of the lower Copper River Delta for all people for all time. The urgency to purchase this land is heightened because the majority shareholder of the Korea Alaska Development Corporation is now in his 80s, yet still willing to sell the 11,000 acres for conservation purposes. And we have a potential funding partner who has offered to match up to $5 million to get this deal done by year's end. EPC's second priority initiative is to greatly reduce the impact of the military war games in the Gulf of Alaska, known as Northern Edge. The U.S. Navy and Air Force are training in the Gulf using artillery, bombs, and sonar that are negatively impacting all five species of salmon that frequent the region and at least 15 different whale species migrating through our homelands. Our goal is simple, to change the timing and location of their trainings as to have less impact on our sea life, wildlife, and wild salmon way of life. Finally, we are looking to develop an existing one-acre property as our home base. Our Eak Lake home is part of an old Eak village site where thousands of sockeye and silver salmon spawn each year. It was recently gifted to us by a generous donor as a base to groom local residents, fishermen, and tribal members, and to share the power of place with leaders, organizers, donors, and impact investors who want to help us protect this world-class watershed. This facility is in need of restoration, upgrading, and developing a strategic program to groom and train upcoming youth leaders. These three initiatives are just the beginning. EPC is proud and honored to work with tribes and progressive organizations from all over the world in these challenging and climate changing times. We have accomplished a lot, but our mission is ongoing. We invite you to join us in our efforts and to come and visit our EAC ancestral homelands. Thank you. I'm Tim Metz, and I'm on the advisory board of EAC Preservation Council. Uh, I've been on the advisory board for at least 15 years, and I come here every summer to fish in the Area E, Copper River, Prince William Sound, Gillnet Fishery, uh, so that I can be a commercial user of the largest roadless wilderness on the North American continent. I do fisheries restoration work in Northwestern California, and I put that on hold in order to come up here and support this amazing organization uh, that I'm just really pleased that you're interested in working with, so thank you.